Dear students, now we are going to solve problems in inverse discrete Fourier transform. The first problem is to find the IDFT of x of k is equal to 1010. So here IDFT means inverse discrete Fourier transform. So capital X of k represents the transformed sequence. So here in solution part, from the given data we can write the capital N value is equal to 4. There are 4 samples. So k varies from 0 to 3. x of 0 is equal to 1. x of 1 is equal to 0. x of 2 is equal to 1. x of 3 is equal to 0. Then we have to write IDFT formula here. So x of n is equal to 1 by n. Summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1. x of k e power plus j 2 pi n k by capital N where n is varying from 0 to n minus 1. Okay, so this is what the formula of inverse discrete Fourier transform. Next, we are going to substitute the values of this capital N in this formula. Then we can get small x of n is equal to 1 by 4. Capital N value is 4 here. Correct? So, 1 by 4 summation k is equal to 0 to 3 x of k e power j 2n pi k by 4 where n varies from 0 to 3. Then we can further simplify this like this. So, here it is 2, here it is 4. So, we can get e power j n pi k by 2. After that, we have to expand this summation for this value k. So here k varies from 0 to 3. So we can expand the summation like this. So 1 by 4 is common. So we can write it like this. And here k is equal to 0 means x of 0 e power 0. Plus k is equal to 1. That means x of 1 e power j n pi by 2. Here k is nothing but 1. Okay. So next plus x of 2 into e power j 2 n pi by 2 plus x of 3 e power j 3 n by by 2. Okay. So then we can simplify this. Simplify in the sense we have to reduce this term like this. Okay. So and also we are going to substitute the values of x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3 here. So here x of n is equal to 1 by 4, 1. That x of 0 value is what? 1 plus x of 1 value is 0 plus x of 2 value is 1 into e power j n pi. Okay, so 2 to here it is divided each other. So we can write e power j n pi plus x of 3 value is 0. So from this we can write the x of n value is equal to 1 by 4 of 1 plus e power j n pi. So now we have reduced that IDFT formula for the given sequence like this okay so now we are going to find the value of n is equal to 0 1 2 3 okay so here n is equal to 0 then this equation becomes x of 0 is equal to 1 by 4 of 1 plus e power 0 so e power 0 means here 1 so 1 plus 1 its value is 2 so 2 divided by 4 so x of 0 value is what 1 by 2 that is equal to 0.5. Okay. So next we are going to substitute n is equal to 1 in that equation. Then we will get x of 1 is equal to 1 by 4 of 1 plus e power j pi. Here n becomes 1. Okay. Then we can expand this exponential term using cos and sin. Okay. So 1 by 4 plus 1 plus cos pi plus j sin pi. e power j pi can be written as cos pi plus j sin pi. Then cos pi value is what? It is minus 1. Cos pi value is minus 1. Sin pi value is 0. Okay. So 1 minus 1, it is equal to 0. So x of 1 is equal to what now? Its value is 0. Then we are going to substitute n is equal to 2. So here x of 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 of 1 plus e power j 2 pi. Here n is 2. Okay. Again we have to expand this exponential term using cos and sin. Then we will get 
cos 2 pi value is 1 plus 1 sine value is 0. So we will get 2 by 4. So 2 by 4 means here it is x of 2 is equal to what? 1 by 2. Finally we can substitute n is equal to 3 here. So x of 3 is equal to 1 by 4. 1 plus e power j. n value is 3. So j 3 pi. So again we can get the value like this 1 plus cos 3 pi plus j sin 3 pi. Cos 3 pi value is minus 1. Sin pi value is always 0. So here you can get x of 3 is equal to 0. So finally we can com combine all the values together to get the IDFT sequence. So 4 point IDFT is equal to x of 0 comma x of 1 comma x of 2 comma x of 3. So we have to substitute all those values here. So 1 by 2, 0, 1 by 2, 0. This is the answer. The next problem is to find the IDFT of the given sequence capital X of K is equal to 5, 0, 1 minus J, 0, 1, 0, 1 plus J, 0. So there are 8 sample values, right? So here in the solution part, we can consider the capital N value is equal to 8. And the K varies from 0 to 7. So K here varies from 0 to 7. And then we can take X of 0. Capital X of 0 is 5. X of 1 is 0. X of 2 is 1 minus J. X of 3 is 0. X of 4 is 1. 5 is 0. X of 6 is 1 plus J x of 7 is 0. Okay, these are the given values. We are going to find the IDFT for this sequence. Okay, so next we have to write the formula of this IDFT. So here x of n is equal to small x of n. Okay, that is time domain signal is equal to 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 capital x of k e power plus j to n pi k by n where n varies from 0 to n minus 1. After this formula, we have to substitute the capital N value in this formula, okay? So, then we can get x of n is equal to 1 by 8, summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 means here it is 7, x of k, e power j to n pi k by 8, okay? Here n varies from 0 to 7. Then, we can further simplify this like this. So we can get x of n is equal to 1 by 8 summation k is equal to 0 to 7 x of k e power j n pi k by 4 and n varies from 0 to 7. So after that you can expand the summation value here. So here summation starts from 0 to 7. So k is equal to 0 means x of 0 e power 0 plus k is equal to 1 means x of 1 e power j n pi by 4. So here k value is 1 and for this k is equal to 2 x of 2 e power j 2 n pi by 4. 3 means x of 3 e power j 3 n pi by 4 plus x of 4 e power j 4 n pi by 4 plus x of 5 as e power j 5 n pi by 4 likewise 6 and 7. Okay, then we have to further simplify this by substituting its values. Okay, so here x of 0 value is what? So x of 0 value is 5. x of 1 value is 0. So x of 2 value is 1 minus j. x of 3 value is 0. 4 value is 1. 5 is 0. 6 is 1 plus j. And x of 7 is 0. And then here it is 2, it is 4. So here we can get e power j n pi by 2. Okay, so here it is 2. Okay, then uh, similarly here in this also 4 and 4. Then we will get e power j n pi. Okay, so this is how we can get that expansion. Finally, the simplified equation is x of n is equal to 1 by 8, 5 plus 1 minus j e power j n pi by 2 plus e power j n pi plus 1 plus j e power j 3 n pi by 2 where n varies from 0 to 7. Consider n is equal to 0. Then substitute that value in this equation. Then we will get x of 0 is equal to 1 by 8 of 5 
1 minus j e power 0 plus e power 0 plus 1 plus j e power 0. So e power 0, anything power 0 is always 1. Okay. So we can write this as 5 plus 1 minus j plus 1 plus 1 plus j. Correct. So we will get the answer like this. So minus j plus j cancel and 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 by 8 is equal to 1. That is the value of x of 0. Next, we are going to substitute n is equal to 1 in that formula. So, x of 1 is equal to 1 by 8, 5 plus 1 minus j into e power j pi pi 2 plus e power j pi plus 1 plus j e power j 3 pi pi 2. So, here we are going to substitute the value of this complex exponential term. For that, you can remember this formula. So, this is the small trick to remember the complex exponential term that e power j odd number of pi e power j pi e power 3 pi e power j 5 pi 7 pi odd number of pi comes means its value is equal to minus 1. So, similarly e power j even number of pi ok. So, even number of pi means 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi. So, even number of pi comes means you can write the value as 1 plus 1. Okay. So, next pi by 2. So, e power j pi pi 2 and then e power j 5 pi pi 2, e power j 9 pi pi 2, e power j 13 pi pi 2. Alternate odd numbers. As you all know that odd number means 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. It is going on like that. So, here we have to take alternate odd numbers. 5 by 2, 5 by, by 2, 9 by, by 2, 13 by, by 2 like that. So, all these values are equal to plus j. So, and then e power j 3 pi pi 2, 7 pi pi 2, 11 pi pi 2, 15 pi pi 2. So, these values are equal to minus j. Do you all understand? So, you have to remember this four thing. Then you can easily substitute the value of complex exponential directly in the formula ok. So now we are going to substitute the value of this complex exponential directly. So as I told you e power j pi pi 2 value is plus j. So here e power j pi or number of pi means minus 1. Here it is 1 plus j into e power j 3 pi pi 2. j 3 pi pi 2 means its value is minus 7. Okay, then multiply inside that we will get 5 plus j into 1 j minus j into j minus j square. Here it is minus 1. 1 into minus j minus j plus j into minus j minus j square. So next as we know that j square is equal to what? Minus 1. So here it is minus 1 minus 1 into minus plus 1. Same way here j square is minus 1. So, minus 1 into minus plus 1. Okay. In the next step, we can further simplify that. We will get 6 by 8. So, x of 1 is equal to 3 by 4. That is equal to 0.75. So, next n is equal to 2. So, x of 2 is equal to 1 by 8. 5 plus 1 minus j e power j. Here, n value is 2. So, 2 pi by 2 plus j 2 pi plus 1 plus j e power j 3 into 2 pi by 2. So, next we can further simplify that like this. So, here we can get e power j pi e power j 2 pi e power j 3 pi. Then substitute the values for this exponential complex exponential here. So, 1 by 8 pi plus 1 minus j e power j pi odd number of pi means minus 1 even number of pi means plus 1 plus 1 plus j here it is odd number of pi so we can place minus 1 then multiply inside that you will get 5 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus j into minus 1 plus j 1 minus 1 minus j then simplify this you will get 4 by 8 so here it is equal to 1 by 2 so x of 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 0.5 Similarly, we can get the value for n is equal to 3 that is x of 3. So, again here 
e power j 3 pi pi 2. So e power j 3 pi pi 2 means minus j. Here it is 9 by by 2 means plus j, right? So we have to substitute all those values and simplify that. We will get x of 3 is equal to 0.25, okay? So next n is equal to 4. So x of 4 is equal to 1 by 8, 5 plus 1 minus j e power j 4 pi pi 2 plus e power j 4 pi plus 1 plus j into e power j. Here 4, 3 is a 12. Okay, 12 by by 2 that means here it is 6 pi. Okay, so in the next step we have to substitute the complex exponential term. So even number of pi means plus 1. So here it is 2 pi, here it is 4 pi, so it is 1. Here it is 6 pi, so it's 1, okay. So then we can multiply inside that, you will get the answer as 1. So this is x of 4, the same way we can get n is equal to 5. So x of 5 is equal to 1 by 8, 5 plus 1 minus j e power j 5 pi pi 2 e power j 5 pi 1 plus j into e power j 15 pi by 2. Then substitute the values. We will get the answer as x of 5 is equal to 3 by 4 is equal to 0.75. Then n is equal to 6 for this 1 by 8 or 5 plus 1 minus j e power j pi pi 2 e power j 6 pi 1 plus j into e power j into 6. That is 6 3 is a here it is 18 divided by 2 that is nothing but 9 okay 9 pi. Then we have to substitute the values for this complex exponential. You will get the answer like this. So here it is e power j 3 pi. 3 pi means odd number of pi. So here it is minus 1. 6 pi means even number of pi. So it's plus 1. 9 pi means odd number again minus 1. Okay. So then multiply inside that. So 5 here it is minus 1. Minus j into minus 1 plus j. Here it is 1 minus 1 minus j. Then we can simplify it to get the answer x of 6. So that is equal to 0.5. Finally n is equal to 7. So here you can get the answer as so 1 by 8 of 5 plus 1 minus j. Here e power j is 7 pi pi 2. 7 pi pi 2 means minus j. As I told you 3 pi pi 2 then 7 pi pi 2, 11 pi pi 2, 15 pi pi 2, all these values are having minus j, right? So next 7 pi, 7 pi means odd number of pi, so minus 1, then 21 pi pi 2, 21 pi pi 2 means plus j. Then multiply inside that j values here and here minus 1, j squared is nothing but what? It is minus 1, here it is minus 1. Then we can get the answer x of 7 is equal to 0.25. So we have obtained the values of x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, 5, 6 and 7. We can substitute all those values in this x of n. Then we will get the answer x of n is equal to 1.75.5.25, 1.75.5.25. This is the IDFT of the given sequence.